Weapons online. Why do I feel this is an ambush? The eternal march of... The... Oh... I think I got it. I think Velora is our sister. That would be fun. Thank you for coming along. It shows a great deal of trust. Please. Don't take this the wrong way. It's not that I distrust your commanders. I just believe some conversations are best had one-on-one, -on -one, driven by your own judgment. There's someone here who's very keen to meet you. Hello, Commander. I am Tuna, King of Falron. I've wanted to meet you for a long time. Thanks to my daughter, Valora, we finally have our chance. Us Falrons, we understand what it's like to be outsiders. Always seen as the underdogs, always underestimated. We know what it's like to struggle against prejudice, to fight to turn the tables. Your father and I met when your people first arrived. I didn't see a foreigner in him. I saw a true Falron warrior. The same ambition, intelligence and strength. That's when I knew we weren't alone in this galaxy. I offered him a chance to unite our forces. Actually, he agreed. He saw the benefit for both our peoples to work together. He said his main goal was to return to Earth first, to bring his people back home, then come back to the galaxy more organized and more powerful to join forces with us. Then, the unfortunate incident you've heard about from Valora happened. Let me share our story. After the disaster that struck your people, I felt a personal loss, as though it was my own family that had been betrayed. But I didn't give up. I sent teams across the galaxy to find if there were others like us. Sadly, we found no one. It seems that in this galaxy, it's just us Falrons and you Earthlings. But then you rose up, started pulling the Earthlings together again. 
When you succeeded at the Morenai station, it was like a spark of hope. It reminded me of our greatest kings who shifted the balance of power in this galaxy. You managed to do so much with so little, in so little time. Since then, I've been watching the WRA grow. I've been impressed, and when you gained a seat on the council, I knew it was time. That's why I sent Valora to meet you. I want the same thing I asked of your father, to join our strengths, to not just coexist, but to lead this galaxy together and bring peace to it. I understand you promise Earth to those who follow you. Imagine if you now said, we're abandoning Earth to conquer the galaxy. Few would stay by your side. I'm not asking you to give up your goal. Let the Earthlings return home. Let's have the Falrons as allies in another part of the galaxy. And when the time is right, we'll unite our forces to make this galaxy a better place. But it's not that simple. Leaving this galaxy isn't easy. You don't have the resources for such a journey. What you need is the Council's backing. If they unanimously support your journey, you'll get the financial and technological support you need and a safe exit from the galaxy. Many council members would oppose the Earthlings leaving. You're too valuable as workers. But we have something that can persuade them, the council's secret archives. If we decrypt these and use the contents wisely, I believe the council members will quickly come around. Interesting. So, decrypt blackmail, what does that mean? I don't know who betrayed me. What will happen if I say I don't blackmail? You wouldn't be able to do this even if you wanted to. Reaching many council members is beyond your grasp. I'll take care of securing the permissions. I can access any council member's home effortlessly. I can negotiate in secret and, most importantly, I can leverage information without them ever realizing it. The archive wasn't taken back by the Council. It fell into other hands. If the Council had it, they would have destroyed it by now. I think someone who knows the power of what's inside has it. We know where it is. It's hidden in a fortress on a planet. There hasn't been much activity around there, probably to keep a low profile. But it won't stay there long. They'll soon move it to decrypt it. We can retrieve the archive ourselves, but Falrun troops can't be seen involved in this type of operation. Normally, we would utilize pirate factions for such tasks. But given the value of this asset, we cannot entrust it to pirates. This operation needs to be yours. Send your best soldier, or go yourself. If WRA is openly involved, it could backfire in the long run. It's better if you get in quietly and get out. Version of two. Did I pass that point? Of course. Such a decision is too significant for one person to make alone. I'm sure there will be others within your faction you'll need to convince. Indeed, always. But at this stage, renouncing the Archive could trigger a chain reaction that might spell the end for the WRA. Of 
course. Such a good luck. 